Hello everybody. So another Amber Alert out of Texas. And this is on Gabriella, Ella, Faith, Cato. So I'm going to share some information on her case. Missing since February 20th, 2024, Galveston, Texas, 15 years old, female, white, brown hair, blue or hazel eyes, 5'4", 130 pounds. She was last seen wearing orange or bright pink hoodie, sweater, top, black basketball shorts, and unknown shoes. Update. Correction. To date last seen, Texas Center for the Missing has updated a Houston Regional Amber Alert on behalf of the Galveston Police Department. For 15-year-old Gabriella Faith Cato, she was last seen on 2-24-2024 at 4 2 a.m. She was last, hold on, she was leaving the Don Condos located at the 7,000, hold on, 7,000 Seawall Boulevard, Galveston, Texas, 77551. Gabriella was wearing an orange or bright pink hoodie, sweater, top, Black baseball shorts, Gabriella is on vacation with family friends and does not know anyone in the Galveston area. If you have any information, please contact the Galveston Police Department at 409-765-3762. All right. Vacation vacationing teen goes missing in Galveston, police say. Island police were in a race against time to find 15-year-old girl who went missing Tuesday morning while on vacation and needs her medication, police said. Galveston police work working to find Gabriella Ella Cato, who is visiting the island with friends when she voluntarily left from a condo in the seven. thousand block of Seawald Boulevard at about 4 a.m. Tuesday, police said. Cato is believed to have possibly injured a vehicle at the time she went missing. <clears throat> police spokesperson Kurt Koopman said, Cato is from out of state and requires medication, which makes locating her very important. Cato wears a Dexcom patch to help control her glucose levels. Police said such patches are typically worn by people with diabetes. Cato is described as five foot four inches tall and weighs about 130 pounds, police said. <clears throat> she was last seen wearing a black tank top and orange hoodie, basketball type shorts and shoes. Anyone with information should call Galveston Police Department at 409-370-9520. the story of another missing child, a teenager in this case, who was vacationing in Galveston from out of state with friends. Galveston police say 15-year-old Gabriela Gaito was last seen leaving a condo along Seawall Boulevard early this morning. Police say she does not have medication she needs with her. Troy Kless live in Galveston, only island tonight with details on when Gaito was last seen. Troy. Yeah, thanks, Lynn. Well, police believe that Cato got into a vehicle at this location behind me. Now, they believe that she left on her own, but police say that she might be in danger. Now, take a look at some photos that were released of Cato earlier today. Now, she was last seen wearing a black tank top, an orange hoodie, basketball shorts and shoes, and a small black bag. Now, we are told the 15-year-old was last seen around 4 a.m. at the Dawn Condominiums at 7000 Seawall Boulevard. And police say that a friend last saw Gabriella, but after that friend told her parents she was gone, they then notified police around 6 a.m. 
Now, Cato is from out of state and does not have required medication with her. Police aren't sure why she left on her own, but they're doing all they can to find her. Uh, we're trying to do cell phone pings to determine where her phone is currently um, and ultimately just find her and locate her and bring her back to her family. Now, police say surveillance video shows Cato getting into a light colored vehicle. We've requested a copy of that surveillance video, and I checked in with Galveston PD within the last hour, and they say it's not ready to release just yet. But again, police say that the family, that the friends that were traveling with her are cooperating and are giving them information. Now, police do not believe that foul play is involved, but we'll keep you updated on the latest with this investigation as it unfolds. We're live in Galveston tonight. Troy Class KHOU 11 News. Certainly hope investigators are right about that. Thank you. So they do have her on surveillance getting into a vehicle. Hopefully they, you know, do find her and she does come, come back safely and they find her safely. We'll see if there's anything else. You know, and I do know others have covered the case, which it will be awesome, you know, as long as a lot of people cover her case, get her name and face out there, as, and also with Elijah. So again, the number is 409-370-9520, and this is her picture, and I will keep you updated on both Amber Alerts that I did share with you. I don't want to be repetitive with the information, but please remember to hit the like button, share this out. Let's get these two children home safely. Bye guys. Have a great night and I love you all.